So I might not be at home in my studio, but that doesn't mean you guys aren't getting iPhone content. The keynote just officially ended and it was incredible. Apple just really does not disappoint when it comes to doing these virtual keynotes. They really are setting the bar for how to do an amazing event. And this one was no exception. The transitions from the HomePod to the iPhone to everything, like it was so beautifully shot. So congratulations, Apple, on another amazing event. We have seen so many leaks, so many rumors over the course of the past year, but now, today, it's official, it's here and we're gonna talk about it right now. So basically, every single iPhone, as we had imagined, all has 5G. Now Verizon was one of the leading partners today on stage and they announced that they are turning on 5G nationwide to 1,800 cities, which would mean they're giving access to 200 million people. And this is all coming alongside of the launch of the new iPhone 12. Here is the current lineup of phones available right now. So we have an iPhone SE that's available for $399, iPhone XR for $499, the iPhone 11 available for $599, the iPhone 12, $699, and iPhone 12 Pro starting at $999. So that's our entire current 2020 iPhone lineup. Let's get into what's new. So the first thing they talked about was the new iPhone 12 and an iPhone 12 mini. This was such a huge rumor, like, are they gonna do a mini? Are they not gonna do a mini? They kind of glossed over the fact that there was a mini iPhone, but I feel like they kind of did this because basically the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 mini have the same exact specs. And I think this is really great because if you do want to get a smaller phone, you're not gonna have to skip out on any type of specs or any camera settings. You will have the same exact phone as the 12, just in a smaller version or a larger version. So both of the 12s have a new aluminum design with a new Super Retina XDR OLED display with a new ceramic shield that is tougher than any current smartphone glass. They said that this is actually four times more durable. So if you do drop it, it's four times stronger than the previous glass that they had on their phones. And of course, if you know me, I drop my phone quite often. And I, I must say, I haven't shattered an iPhone in quite a long time. And I still drop my phone quite consistently. So the fact that this is going to be a much stronger glass, you guys know that I am so here for it. I love taking photos and videos and the 12 has a new advanced dual camera system with an ultra wide and wide angle camera. It's also super cool that night mode and deep fusion is now available on all cameras. Both of the 12s have an A14 Bionic chip, which is up to 40% faster than the A13, 50% faster graphics, a six core CPU, four core GPU, all while being 11% thinner, 15% smaller in volume, and 16% lighter. It also now has 16 neuro, neuro I can never say that word. Neuro <laughs> I say it wrong every single time. We've dramatically increased the performance of our neural engine. 16 of them. They've been doubled. The previous were eight. All that not being said, this is allowing for a huge performance boost. There's like several words in my vocabulary that for the life of me, I just can't pronounce. I always love the new colors and the 12 comes in five different colors. There's a blue, a green, a black, a white, and a product red. I actually really like this product red color. It looks like it's a little bit lighter of a color. It's kind of hard to tell looking just at the images. So I'm sure maybe in person, it might look different. Pre-orders for the 12 begin October 16th and shipping October 23rd. And the 12 mini pre-orders will begin November 6th and shipping November 13th. Guys, that's so soon. I'm really excited to see more of the mini because we kind of didn't really see much of it in the keynote. So I kind of really want to see that side by side in comparison to the iPhone Pro Max because it's such a small time tiny little device, I can't wait to see it in person. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite iPhone 12 color is. So it's no secret that I'm a huge fan of video and shooting videos on my iPhone is obviously something that I do quite often. So this is really huge. I know a lot of people might not understand how incredible this is. The iPhone 12, is the first camera to be able to shoot Dolby Vision HDR video. Not only will it be able to shoot it, but you can edit, view, and share these cinema grade videos right from your iPhone. You will be able to shoot the Dolby Vision HDR videos on both the iPhone 12 and the iPhone 12 Pro Max. But the big difference is you will only be able to shoot 30 frames a second on the iPhone 12, whereas the Pro upgrade, you'll be able to shoot 60 frames a second. So the fact that you're able to do this across all of the iPhone 12 models is really, really exciting. They also have a new updated and improved cinematic video stabilization. You can also do night mode time lapses with a tripod, and you can even have longer handheld night mode photos because of this increased stabilization. And even now do night mode on the front facing camera. 
This was also really cool. They kind of quickly went through it, but there's a new thing called MagSafe. The iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro Max now have magnets built into the back of it. So this is gonna help with increased accuracy when trying to charge your phone. Apple is coming out with some cool magnetic chargers, which will basically snap right onto the back of your phone and give it a faster wireless charge. They also have some magnets built into the new iPhone 12 cases. So that magnet will connect to the magnet on the phone and then it'll connect to the accessory and then it'll do pass through charging. And they even have some really cool accessories. They showed like this little folio pouch, but this is kind of leading into a really cool development for third party accessories. So I can only imagine how many amazing mounts or like really cool things that people are gonna do with this new magnetic. Oh my God, I can put it on my refrigerator. I don't know why that's my first thought, but I feel like that's just what people do with magnets. So pretty much everything that we just talked about is all in the lower end iPhone 12 model. So everything that was announced today in the iPhone 12 is also available in the 12 Pro and Pro Max. The 12 Pro Max has a stainless steel band and a precision milled back glass and also has the new front ceramic shield. It comes in four different colors, silver, graphite, gold, and the Pacific blue that we've been seeing for the past few months. So this gold is definitely a little more on the actual gold, like a yellow gold. The outside stainless steel band is really shiny and I'm trying to decide which color to get because I do have the new graphite watch and do I want my iPhone to match my watch? Am I ever gonna actually see it? Cause I'm probably gonna put a case on it. And I really love having the white case with the white camera showing through help. What do I do? I'm gonna put a poll up here so you guys can help me decide which phone I should get. You can also leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite iPhone 12 Pro color is. So the Pro display went from a 5.8 inch to a 6.1 inch. And the Pro Max went from a 6.5 to a 6.7 inch display. This is the same A14 Bionic chip that is in the iPhone 12. So we did go over some of those specs previously. I cannot wait to try out these cameras. It has a new seven element lens wide camera with an F 1.6 aperture, which is the fastest ever on an iPhone. This will give you 27% improved low light performance in photo and video. The ultra wide camera has 120 degree field of view and a 52 millimeter telephoto camera, bringing an optical zoom range of up to four times. Look who's here, Maddie. Hi. Now in the Pro Max, it has a brand new telephoto with a 65 millimeter focal length. This is up from 52, which is allowing for longer framing for portraits. And you could optically zoom in 2X for an even closer shot. The wide angle also has the new seven element lens with a larger pixel sensor and a new sensor shift technology to improve image stabilization. The entire sensor is actually stabilized as opposed to just the lens. So this will make a huge improvement in both photo and video stabilization. I had so much fun messing around with the LiDAR on the new iPad Pro, so they are basically bringing that LiDAR sensor now to the iPhone 12 Pro. This is also going to assist with six times faster autofocus in video and photos, along with improvements in night mode for depth sensing. Dolby Vision HDR is such a huge addition to the iPhone Pro camera system, and I really cannot wait to try this out. We'll be able to shoot in 10-bit, giving access to 700 million colors, which is 60 times more than before. Again, this is so exciting because this isn't just available on the Pro models. This is available on all of the iPhone 12s. So just to reiterate, this is the first time ever that a device can not only shoot, but be able to edit, color grade, view, and be able to share this Dolby Vision HDR content. You will be able to airplay Dolby Vision HDR content to a TV that does support it, but if you do have a TV that doesn't or some other device, the iPhone will automatically detect what it's being sent to and send the highest quality version of whatever that piece of content is to your TV or device. Pre-orders for the 12 Pro begin October 16th and shipping the 23rd. The 12 Pro Max will pre-order November 6th and ships the 13th. Which one? Are you guys gonna get? Are you gonna get one? Are you not gonna get one? Why? Why not? Oh, something else that they mentioned in the keynote, which was really awesome, is the fact that League of Legends is now coming to the iPhone. League of Legends Wild Rift will be available and they showed some gameplay during the keynote. I think it's amazing what League of Legends has done for esports because they really did kind of bring this to mainstream media, showing people that video games, yes, they are games, but this can be taken seriously. This can be turned into an entire esports community. And what's really cool about League of Legends is a lot of times they have really incredible comments so when you're watching matches, even if you don't play the game, you're still able to understand and grasp what's happening. Anyway, I'm super excited to try that out when that is out for iPhone. So be sure to look for some content on that very soon. I'm definitely really excited about the future of 5G, but it definitely does still feel a little bit early. Thankfully with Apple now officially jumping on board, it'll be more appealing to the masses. Even though Apple might not have been the first to 5G, I feel like in typical Apple fashion, they might not be completely last to the party, but when they do show up at the party, they usually have the best gift 
and it's probably gift wrapped just perfectly. And basically what I'm saying is now that Apple has 5G, I think it's officially here. 5G just got real. One thing though that I am a little bit sad about, I think you probably know, is the fact that there is no USB-C charging in any of the iPhone 12s. They are including a USB-C charger to Lightning, but they're also not including charging bricks in any of the boxes for any of the phones. And they're also making the boxes much slimmer. There was a couple of people on Twitter that were saying, so now that you're including a USB-C charger, all of the bricks that you previously have in your iPhones were all the type A. So now that they're USB-C, where do we... But that brings me back to the fact that with this new magnetic wireless charging, wireless charging is going to become so much more of a norm. So instead of buying that extra brick for your USB-C charger, you probably would just get this wireless charger and start wirelessly charging your phone more often than plugging it in. And I said this before in one of my rumor videos, I have pretty much mostly wirelessly charged for the past couple of years. So really plugging my phone in has not really been a thing anymore. And the other thing that I was very sad about is the fact that they don't have Touch ID in any of the phones. I thought maybe since they did bring it to the iPad Air on the power button, that there was like a really small chance that they might've been able to sneak it in here in the iPhone 12 Pro at least. I guess I kind of feel like they've been working on this phone long before the pandemic struck. So the need for Touch ID right now has become basically critical. I have no plans to stop wearing a mask anytime soon in public places, even after this all passes. So I think for me, really kind of having that touch ID would have been really incredible. And not just for me, I think for everyone, because I think masks should be here to stay in the long run. If you are around people, I think just honestly, our health is so important. We could stop the spread of a lot of different types of viruses, but even things like the flu or the cold, ah, I don't know, I think I've turned into a germaphobe. Anyway, I think that everything that we sort of expected was announced today, as far as iPhones were concerned. I know there were a lot of rumors running around about things like AirTags or AirPod Studio, and maybe some sort of a mention of Apple Silicon, but we didn't get that, but that's okay, because that just means that there's probably gonna be some more announcements on the way. So I kind of feel like they might try to sneak something in there right before the holiday season. Home Depot I saw already has Christmas trees up. It's not even freaking Halloween yet and you're already pushing Christmas trees? I'm not ready. But what I am ready for is the iPhone and also the HomePod mini. Kind of excited about that. I know I didn't touch on it in this video, but I will be doing a separate video on that talking about it. They said that the new HomePod has improved Siri accuracy and then there's a really cool thing called intercom. So basically this is kind of something that they already have on Amazon Alexa right now. That intercom message will go across basically every device that's connected. So it'll go through CarPlay, through your AirPods, Pods, through your phone, through your Apple Watch. So definitely excited to try that out. Um, I think that's all I have right now. I'm super excited about this. My sister and I are also gonna be recording a podcast talking about all of the things that were announced today. So if you guys wanna check that out, be sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts and also our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash same brain. You can also just search for same brain on any podcast platform or you can go to anchor.fm slash same brain and that will give you a link to a bunch of places that you can subscribe. So I guess that's it. I, uh, again, I'm traveling. I also brought home our broadcaster so we can do our podcast. I'm currently visiting my family and I traveled for the first time in seven months and I'm so happy to see them and it's really exciting. So I look forward to making some videos for you guys. But if I'm not 100% on top of posting, it's cause I'm with my family. Well, thank you guys again for watching this. I'll be reading all of your comments below and answering any questions that you have that I might be able to answer. And if there's anything that you would like to see me make a video about any of the upcoming Apple products, leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell so you'll receive notifications when I post a new video because Techtober is officially here and there's a ton of stuff that I'm currently working on. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.